Good evening, everyone. I'm Carmine Jumay. Today we've got a story about a man who takes pride in his work. Scotty Mason has been sweeping the court for state basketball games at the Casper Events Center for 30 years. Here's his story. This is Scotty on the floor. Go, Scotty, go. At most state basketball tournaments, sweeping the court is a break in the action. But for Scotty Mason in Wyoming, sweeping the court is the action. Scotty is basically one of the landmarks of the Casper Event Center. Whenever we do tours and have uh, people in the building, they say, where's that tall guy? And everybody knows Scotty, and he never, never fails to deliver. This was Scotty's 30th and final year sweeping the courts at the Casper Event Center. At one point, he even had theatrical performances with a cape, smokescreen, and bandits stealing his broom. And for all that halftime entertainment, he earned a career achievement award. Scotty is the man. I would say it's definitely a, a tradition unlike any other state has. And to see the response of the crowd, uh, it just kind of tells you how everybody appreciates what Scotty does and, and the effort that he put in for all those years. Not only are Scotty's halftime performances entertaining, they're also inspirational. Back before the 1998 state title game, Ron Laird used Scotty as an example to his Powell Panther team to take pride in their work. And that team went on to win the state title. It makes it feel good that I can be expiring for other athletics. He's taking care of all of his responsibilities all the time, and I think that's just uh, who Scotty is. Nobody sweeps the floor like Scotty sweeps the floor. And when the halftime show went long, they needed the six foot seven Scotty to speedily sweep the floor. Good thing he holds the all time record at the event center. They see me doing my job and doing what I'm supposed to be doing, even if it's doing the courts or something. They should take pride in what they, their work. When he sweeps the floor, you'll hear go, Johnny go. But if you listen close at the event center, it sounds like go, Scotty, go. For K2 Sports with a man who takes pride in his work, I'm Carmine Jume. Go, Scotty, go. Amazing to see the effect Scotty has on people by taking an entertaining and prideful approach to his work. And speaking of Casper Pride, both T-Birds basketball coaches Dwight Canary and Dan Russell have earned the Region 9 Coach of the Year Award. For Coach Canary, it's his second Coach of the Year honor in a row. His Lady T-Birds won the Region Championship two years ago and lost in the championship this past season. For those two years, they went 58-10. and And Dan Russell's team finished 32-3 and this season as the sixth-ranked team in the country. You all know the T-Birds won their first Region 9 title in 23 years. Also for the men's team, power forward Zion Tordov just committed to play for Marist College next season. And for the women, Jay Johnson and Natrona County grad just signed to play for the Cowgirls next year. Jay played in 65 and started 33 games for the Lady T-Birds the past two seasons. This year, Jay averaged 11 points, 5 boards, and 2 assists per game. She made the all-region defensive team and all-region tournament team. So now the Cowgirls have three Wyomingites coming to play next season. That includes Jay from Casper, McKinley Bradshaw from Lyman, and Paige Powell from Cody. And their future classmate, Jayla Henderson, just earned the Mountain West Field Athlete of the Week Award. And if you've heard that before, that's because she's earned the weekly honor six times in her career. She is a Wyoming legend for sure. And guys, unfortunately today, the Cowgirls golfers finished ninth out of nine teams in the Mountain West Championships. And right now, look at my phone. The Calgary Flames are up 2-1 on the Avalanche in Game 4. But we do have a 2-1 series lead. There we go. All right. Well, hopefully they can get another goal real quick and uh, right. overtime. Yep. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah. We'll be right back after the break. I know sports.